My name is Billy Delaney. I live here in Astoria, Oregon, on the Lower Columbia River, Chinook lands. I'm a commercial fisherman. I started working in the industry when I was about 15 years old. I work mainly in Alaska now. I've seined for salmon. I've gill netted for salmon. I've set net for salmon. I've trolled for salmon. As I got older, it kind of just became a thing where I was like, why would I want to do anything else for a living? We're at the second fish trap Wild Fish Conservancy has helped work on in the Lower Columbia River. Part of this new design is like 100% passive, meaning the fish are swimming into this maze that we've set up. And as they follow the current up, they're swimming into a chamber that we're holding them in. And really with like the advancements we've made this year, we have a, an underwater camera and we can just sit inside our data tent and see what kind of fish we have in there. And since we're not doing anything but research in science this year, you can just look at them on a camera and then release them without having had any contact or interaction with the fish. Having a selective gear type is so incredibly useful. And when I think about the application, it could have in so many watersheds even if you're looking at rivers and watersheds that have an incredible amount of abundance, having a selective gear type would enable you to harvest where there is an abundance without harming uh, the species that you're trying to protect. So if you have just like one stock of concern, it would enable you to keep tabs on, on the abundance and the return uh, really effectively, collecting genetic sampling and monitoring, while also harvesting the species that are abundant and enabling commercial fishermen to keep fishing. So this is a tool that can call out and harvest that hatchery fish without killing the endangered species and the wild stocks that our goal is to protect. If something isn't sustainable, it's not marketable in the long term. We're at a moment where to make economic sense of what you're doing in a commercial fishery, you can either deal with quantity or quality. And the higher the quality, the less quantity that you need to harvest. And I think for a lot of young people looking forward, especially in areas like this where there just isn't a volume of fish returning um, that's harvestable in a sustainable way. People are really looking at the quality of the product. Quality of these fish is just incredible. And the opportunities to maintain the freshness of the fish are really amazing. I would love to see the commercial fishing industry continue on the lower river. And I would love to see this move forward with more input from the community. I think we're at a critical stage where we need to come up with more tools to address the issues that are ahead of us. And I see this as a valuable tool.